Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Let's talk about a speculation, something higher risk than an investment that I'm doing, right? This should not be construed as financial advice. I want each of you to think for yourselves. I'm just sharing something that I view as having compelling upside. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now in an earlier cryptocurrency video, I talked about Trust Wallet. It's a wallet that is an excellent portal to the Binance ecosystem. Trust Wallet allows you to do certain things like uh, fool around with uh, coins on the BEP2 chain as well as on the Binance Smart Chain. More importantly, it's fully integrated. It has PancakeSwap, for example, and other programs already built into the Trust Wallet. So it makes it easy to stake coins like BNB coin, which is in the top five of all market cap in the world of crypto. Now, if you've used the Binance ecosystem in the past, you know that one of the coins that's absolutely essential in using that ecosystem is PancakeSwap, right? PancakeSwap is Binance's version of Uniswap, right? It allows you in the Binance ecosystem to swap one coin for another coin. To swap, for example, BNB coin on the BEP2 chain to the Binance Smart Chain. So, using Trust Wallet, and there are tutorials here online, using Trust Wallet, you can stake BNB coin and earn a greater than 15% rate of return. And what I like is BNB coin is one of the more credible coins online, right? There's a built-in market demand. You'll see opportunities to stake lesser known cryptos that don't have the track record or the backing that BNB coin has behind it, right? In my opinion, those coins carry much more risk. You understand that Binance is one of the biggest players in the game. You understand that the BNB coin is an essential part of the Binance ecosystem. So if you're in the Binance ecosystem and you're dealing with, you know, a very high number of coins, and if you go to digitalassetlife.com, you'll see that I have a diagram of the Binance ecosystem on that website. So you'll get the idea of the breadth of the ecosystem. Then you understand that BNB coin is not a fly-by-night coin. It is an essential coin in the Binance ecosystem as is PancakeSwap. What I would encourage people to do too is to look at the volume for both BNB coin Right? In the last 24 hours, by the way, it's over a billion dollars worth of volume. And PancakeSwap, you can find the volume numbers on CoinMarketCap.com. Well, let's get bolder. Right? Now, I'm all for compounding. I love the idea of getting significant interest on BNB coin, right? Um, in the current staking environment. And understand. You're dealing with market conditions. You're going to have price discovery, right? You're getting a lot of interest right now. Over time, these markets are going to mature. Over time, the profit-making opportunities are going to decrease. The reason why you're getting such outsized rates of return is because these are nascent markets. 
right? DeFi is relatively new. So understanding all of that, <clears throat> if you're not satisfied with 15% rate of return, if you understand the compounding of money, the teachings of Richard Russell, I encourage people to Google Richard Russell newsletter compounding money and see what pops up in your Google search. If you're familiar with the idea that if you are able to make an investment early and compound money, that you're doing a lot better than someone who makes the same investment later. Well, you want to take advantage of these <clears throat> outsized rates of return. So rather than just stake BNB coin, right, which I'm doing, I have jumped the fence and I'm now yield farming on Trust Wallet. Let's talk about the incentive that I had to jump the fence. I was getting about 16% on my uh, BNB staking by graduating to yield farming according to Trust Wallet, which lays out the APRs for the different investment options. I'm now getting an APR of 53.14%. In other words, if this APR holds, then if I invest $100 at the end of the year, they'll give me $50 back off the one-year investment. Think about it. If I throw in $2,400, let's just do the math, and they're giving me 50% rate of return, right? So I'm getting half of the $2,400 back on an annual basis then for that $2,400 amount, I'd be getting back $100 a month, right? 100 times 12 is $1,200. The peer that I like, if you go to Trust Wallet, you're going to see a lot of peers that you yield farm together, right? Because you're providing liquidity to a liquidity pool. Right, that is using the cryptocurrency for liquidity purposes. The peer that I like, that I believe makes the most sense, and I'm just talking for me with my risk tolerance, you need to consider yours. Right, is the BNB, again, that's a top five crypto and market cap, paired with the pancake swap token. That's a plus 40 in all of market cap. Now you'll see that Trust Wallet gives you a lot more choices than that. Right? But understand, I don't want to play around with a coin that might be here today and gone tomorrow. I understand that BNB coin and pancake swap are essential coins, absolutely essential coins, just like Uniswap is essential for the Ethereum ecosystem. So too is PancakeSwap essential for the Binance ecosystem. That's why it's in the top 40 of all market cap. To me, the pairing of BNB with PancakeSwap and you'll see as you read up on Trust Wallet, as you go to Trust Wallet's own page and read through their tutorials on how to farm, right? You will see that you need a peering to yield farm. And I can't think of a better peering than BNB and PancakeSwap especially given 
the greater than 50% APR. Now, I've been at it now for a few days. I don't want to misrepresent here. I don't want to say that I have been at this for a longer time than that. I have been staking crypto for years, but this is new for me, yield farming. And let's just say I've been impressed. In other words, Trust Wallet allows you to see in real time exactly how much profit you can harvest at that moment. And of course, you can call it off. You're not locked in to any kind of long-term contract. You can panic one day, Lord knows, the cryptocurrency market is volatile. You could panic one day and say, that's it, I've had enough. I want out. And you can hit a few buttons and get your coins back. Right? So, let's just say it's the Wild West right now in crypto. As cryptocurrency markets mature, you're going to look back at some of these yields and you're going to pinch yourself and say, why didn't I take advantage of them? Right? Let's say I'm getting $100 a month in yields and then they cut the interest rate down to 40% then 30%, right? Not that anyone getting a 30% APR is doing badly. But just understand, by then, I will have gotten the huge profits of 50%. Understand, there are many people yield farming who remember when you were getting much higher yields than this with known coins like BNB coin. Let me also point out too that in the comment section of this YouTube video, and my YouTube account, if you're hearing this on Spotify, is DeWire, D W Y E R, 70905. Again, DeWire, D W Y E R, 70905. Right? I'll post this video on Digital Asset Life. So if you're hearing this on a podcast, you can just go to my crypto site and watch the video, right? In the comment section of this video, I'm going to put a link to a Forbes Legacy Finance magazine article. In fact, it'll be a link. Forgive me. Let me back away from that. Let's think about an even more precise article. And I love Forbes. No knock on Forbes. Um, I'm going to put a link to a Motley Fool article on yield farming that discusses the risks involved, that discusses some of the scams that have taken place in the space, right? The entire premise behind yield farming. I believe before anyone makes a move into the space, you need to do your homework. Let me also point out, too, that the space right now is so lucrative that it's attracting competitors. So I encourage people to look at polygons, entry into the space. They've had hiccups. The reason I'm picking Polygon is, number one, it's an excellent crypto, right? They're trying to move away from just being a layer on the Ethereum ecosystem. Understand, here, I'm not trying to push people toward one ecosystem or another. All I'm trying to do is to say, look, there's some great opportunities out there if you do your homework. Well, folks, Polygon, again, a great coin, reasonable fees by the way, uh, comparatively speaking, in reference to Ethereum, Polygon is now really trying to distinguish themselves. So they now have their own version of Uniswap and PancakeSwap. They call it DinoSwap. It's its own ecosystem. 
You can find out all about DinoSwap at DinoSwap.exchange. DinoSwap is spelled D-I-N-O-S-W-A-P, right? And what you want to do, more importantly, is you want to find out about how some of these yield farming setups got hacked as you research DinoSwap.exchange. Well, let's just say that the total value locked, that's the amount of uh, crypto and just dino swaps, and dino swaps new, fossil farms, they call it, exceeds $500 million. Right? And dino swaps new. So the money is huge. This space is attracting capital. Right? For me at this time, and today it's July 31st, 2021. For me personally, the yield farming opportunity that I'm engaged in is the BNB coin paired with Pancake Swap on Trust Wallet. Let me also make the point that Binance, believe it or not, has made both of these coins deflationary. They're burning the coins. I believe that creates scarcity. So when you own the coins, when you own the scarcity, you're increasing your profit margins, especially given the increased need for liquidity due to the scarcity. So if you're looking for outsized profits, an outsized APR, a income stream that repeats itself. Well, I'll just tell you, I was looking for those things and I believe yield farming is definitely worth a look. I'm yield farming and let's just say I've been impressed. The numbers add up. The idea that regular deposits are made into my wallet because I have the BNB pancake swap yield farming token, right? And you'll have to navigate through the tutorials at Trust Wallet to figure out what I'm talking about. Right, let's just say that I've been impressed with the income stream and the greater than 50% rate of return. That's how I see it. Again, this video will be posted at digitalassetlife.com. And again, in the comment section of this video, an article from Motley Fool. In fact, it's Motley Fool's The Ascent service, right? Discussing the risks as well as the rewards of yield farming will be embedded in the comment section of this video. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If you've had experience yield farming, if you've had experience staking, positive or negative, I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.